Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord for God has given us talent to sing songs to praise Him. Siguro po hindi niyo nakita na kinakabara mo kasi niya may dinam. Hindi ba mo na mumunta? Pero po, ito po. Pero sabi niya ni Pastor, huwag kang kabahan, mag-meditate ka. Kasi nga, hindi naman ito ako. Hindi naman ito minsahe ko, kundi hindi minsahe ko ng Panginoon. Amen. Helping hands. We're not going to talk about how and why they function differently, but we're going to talk about and let us discover helping hands according to the Bible. Helping hands. A lot of the stories in the Bible that teach us and tells us about helping and serving other people. We have different ways of serving, using our hands to do, to do good things. And let me share to you first my story na tinanggap ko ito. First time that Sister Evelyn texted me is all about, she, she asked me to, to lead the prayer. And of course, I am a member of our group, the group three, or palm three, well, palm three. So as a member, I should cooperate. So I say yes. At sa pangalawa po, ayun na, ito na. Sabi niya, Jim, pwede ka ba speaker? Una-una po sabi ko, Parang ang laking bagay yun na. Laking <laughs> bagay yun na ito. Kaya sabi ko, ay hindi hindi. Kasi ano, talaga sabi ko hindi. Una-una sabi ko, hindi yun na kasi yung months akong mag-stay in. So wala akong tayo na gagawa ng pins. Kasi nga sa Pilipinas, yung mga pastor dyan, may mga ready-made na silang powerpoints na sinisend sa mga youth leader. I'm not a youth leader. Pero nga dahil, mamaya, di ba ito ko sa inyo. Kaya yun, sabi ko, ayaw ko kasi wala akong nag-prepare, wala, wala akong dala at saka yung laptop na iwan sa Pilipinas so kailangan ko pang gumawa ng bago kaya yun pero parang may nagsasabi sa akin na sige na, doon na, push mo na yan opportunitas mo na yan na at pagkakataon mo na yan na na magbahagi ka ng, ng experience mo at saka salita ng Diyos kaya yun at saka yung sabi ko kanina, yung experience ko na, totoo po, sabihin na lang natin na parang nahiwalay ako. Parang yung pag-backslide pa, ganun ba? Kasi, di ba, kahit na konti lang yun, sabihin niya natin, di ba, once you break one of the laws, you still a law breaker. Pero yun, yun, parang kinukonsider ko na yung sabihin ko dati na, oo, oh, totoo, nawala na. Pero, I am not proud of who I am before, but I just wanted to share it. Because, so that you may witness how God changed me upside down. Amen. Kaya yun, sinabi ko po, God, God, Jesus, are you not? Yun. Kinamit niya pa, hindi niya po yung girlfriend ko na umalik. So yun, parang una-una pag may, kasi yung girlfriend ko is, ah, uh, yun, ano siya, yun, presence na, sure. Kaya, Pagka first gentleman, dapat support ka ng support, gano'n. Hanggang sa, ano ba ito, parang awkward, parang pinag-uusapan pa rin. Gano'n ako dati eh. Parang panginoon, parang tarap na pinag-uusapan. Hanggang sa na-adapt ko, hanggang sa, hindi ko na malayan na, kasi all process, di ba? Hindi naman yun, bigla akong nag-ikot eh, 150 degrees. Kaya yun, hanggang sa, nakita ko ng sarili ko na, ay, andito na ako sa lugar sa battle eh. Kahit na nagpapasalaan pa rin ako sa parents ko dahil nga may foundation din ako kasi born at dentist ako. Kaya nga lang nawala dahil nga dancing ang nakapag rayon. <laughs> oh pero sa, alam mo yung alam nyo sa lahat ng ano, sabi ko, Lord, alam ko binigyan mo ako ng dancing na talent. Tapos naman o, oh, pakisop naman ng singing. <laughs> pero, pero may purpose pa rin kami kasi naging ano din ako, naging trainer din ako sa dance group ng yung mga sayawing dance sa club ng sipa natin, hindi naman yung dance na ano pero inorporate yung singing and dancing which is just like a cultural dance yan ganun so nagpapasalam ko naman at na nagawa ko ng kama at na nakuanan ko yung ang tawag niya? nabigay ko ng kama yung talent na binigay ng pinag sa akin yun yun ang story ko. Tama naman na tayo sa story. So let's, let's focus now on helping hands. 
Let us read once again uh, the promise of our study. Together. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Okay. Are you sure God is refuge? God is our refuge and strength? Yes. Yes? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Are you sure God gave you the strength? Yes. Okay. But I have to do it. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Amen. I have here three questions. It is very easy to answer, but it means a lot to each and every one of us. First question is Who owns his hands? Jesus. You know, when I was making this slide, I asked also my niece there in Hong Kong. I said, good for to be in a wife. I asked my niece there, and I said, lovely. She was, uh, she is five years old now. And I asked her, lovely, who owns these hands? And she answered me, Jesus Christ. But not only that, she said, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Whoa. Okay, five years old can answer that like that question. Yes, it is true that God died on the cross, he suffered on the cross for us to have the hope of salvation. The next question that I ask her is, what did he do to us? I'm sure you can answer that question. What did he do to us? But for her, I think, I'm not expecting any answer for her, but unexpectedly she answered it. And she said, Ito love, ito love. Kasi love love yung ako. Ano pala yan ko? Ito love, ito love. I know the answer. What is it lovely? Making fishers of men. In that time, I contemplated. I think they deeply of what she answered. I said, making fishers of men. How about us? We consider ourselves as fishers of men. Do I consider myself as a fisher of men? Do I use my hands to reach others? Do I use my whole life to spread the gospel? I'm not going to, to ask you to verbally answer me that question. I'm going to leave that question for you to answer, to evaluate yourself, if, if you consider yourself as a fisher, as a fisher of men. Now the next question that I ask her is, how did he affect you? How did he affect you? I'm sure you have an answer. A lot of answers here, different answers, because it depends on what experience we had with Christ. But she finally answered me, I don't know. Of course, I think it's acceptable answer for her. She is three years old only, but it's okay. Now, I'm going to share you my experience here in Hong Kong, in Macau. These are my words picture. I included it in my slides because so that you may relate also my experience with them. And Sister Daisy also know that. Knows that this is Gordon and that is Thomas. Oh, they're brothers. And every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon, they have swimming class. And there was one time that Gordon asked me to help his friend. He said, Jay, 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 please can you help me? Why, what, what happened? And he said, because my, my friend hung his swimming cup above the shower. Oh, okay, I'll just get it. Then give it to his friend. As you can see, this is not a serious call for help. But the point here is, after I get that swimming cup, Gordon said to me, Whoa, okay, uh. I don't know how to translate that perfectly in, in English, but I think it's just like very good, isn't it? Very good. So, and after that, he said, Jay, why you are you always helping? Why you're always helping? So I need to reflect my answer to him because this boy, Gordon, the youngest, is an expressive kind of kid. Once he says, I love you, he will hug you, he will 
kiss you, but once you say, I don't like you, I'm angry, you will act it violent, violently. Yes. So I said, oh, you know why I help your friend? Because our hands is for helping. That's the purpose of our hands. Our hands is not for hitting. How about you? What is the use of your hands? Is it for hitting or for helping others? And he said to me, uh, uh, so don't hit anyone, even me, even your friends, or even your mom and papa. It's like that. So hitting hands versus helping hands. My brothers and sisters, we only have two options. Either to do good things, or to do bad things, to help others or not. Think of it, look at your hands, and ask yourself, come on, ask yourself, what is the purpose of your hands? What is the purpose of your life? If we misuse our hands before, now still, we still have time to change it. We still have time to, from useless hands to useful hands. I have here a four minutes video clip. This was taken 2012, December, the theme share gift and medical mission.
in that particular situation, the word health is seriously impacted. Right? In our lives, catastrophe will come physically, emotionally, financially, mentally, and most of all, spiritually. And we do need help from someone. Someone who can comfort us just like his mother before he is a baby. Maybe someone can give us what we need, just like the father feeding his baby. Someone who can teach us what we should do, just like that. Someone who can heal our wounds. And who is that someone? It is Jesus Christ. It is Jesus Christ who gives us what we need. Heal and hear our words, can comfort us. A lot of things. Now, in Matthew 25, verses 35 to 40, it says there, For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of my brethren, you did it to me. It is very clear. God, Jesus Christ, wants us to do good things to others. For whatever we do, we did it to Him. I have here selected pictures, not because I like these pictures, but because it reminds me of what is the purpose of my hands. It's like this thing. Helping his is the father's hand helping his baby to, to walk, assessing his baby to walk. This is the engineer's hand. He's planning to, to build church. And this one, calculating the money inside the church. And this firefighter is going to rescue those people who are in danger. And of course, drivers, especially in the Philippines during crusade. Barangay to barangay, kailangan papuntay ng isang barangay, kailangan ng driver at sasakyan papunta doon. It's very important. And the next is, this one, is it to do bad things, to destroy others. Now you can choose which one you like. But we always remember, my brothers and sisters, in 1 Corinthians 10, 31, whatever we do, do it for the glory of let me bring you to this, to the story of the Good Samaritan. Alam kong alam nila ito. Pero refreshment. There was a man who was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. And he fell among robbers. They stripped him, beat him, and what else? Leaving him half dead. And by chance, priest was going down the same road and when he saw the man he passed by to the other side likewise the Levi passed by to the other side the Samaritan as he journeyed he felt compassion he took care of him helped him the story of the good Samaritan usually ends with the question which we know those question, right? We know that this question. Which which of these three proved to be a true neighbor? We know that the Samaritan is a true neighbor. But now let me ask you this question. Who are we going to help? Who are we going to help? You know, my brothers and sisters, the good Samaritan star reminds us that we have God who trusted our hands to help others or any person that is in need. We have God 
to provide what we need to help others. And let's go back to our key text. God, our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. God is always present, always available to help us. And sometimes, we are in doubt. Now, since we are created in His own likeness, we should be also what? We should be like Him. Helping others, really. Sometimes, we are in doubt in helping others. Even though we knew that we can help, but let us always remember my brothers and sisters. We need not to worry. God is our refuge and strength. Very present God. 